They just do what they always do. Why is he yeah, playing Leo Conrad? I'm on the first line. Like, Welcome to the Rock. So, a lot of hockey fans, the off season is the favorite favorite part of the year because all player movement and um, you know it adds excitement and there's trades and big signings, which leads me to the point of I think the NHL really should have done a lot of teams a service and included an amnesty buyout uh, for this year because everything they've gone through with the pandemic and the flat cap, um, I think allowing that would have allowed for more action league wide with players moving. And in, in the end, that's better for the league in terms of, you know, excitement and eyes on the news going on during the summertime. Because an amnesty buyout, if you think about it, it would help so many teams in a cap bind. Um, you know, the Rangers could use one on, on Truba or Kreider. You know, the Islanders can get rid of Ladd. You know, the Wild bought out Suter and Parise today, but they're going to have to pay for that. Can you imagine if they were able to amnesty buy them out and they're, they're gone, they don't count against the cap? You know, two years from now, both those, both those full salaries hit their cap. So while they're saving money this for this season on both of them, in two more years, they're going to be they're in a bad spot for those two years, paying both those players their, their full amount um, for those two seasons. So, um, yeah, every team has players like that that they would gladly have liked that to happen, but they can't. And I think by allowing the league, by the league allowing that for that to happen, an amnesty buyout, um, it would have been good for the league. I know the PA probably wouldn't like it because now you have guys – we're out of a job and due to the flat cap they may struggle finding homes but at the end of the day it would open up so much cap space and teams would be able to trade and more easily without having to you know salary retention and you know this and that so i think that could have really been a, a good thing for the league if they would have included it i see why they didn't um but again i think it would have been only a good thing for the league and we saw it in the past after i think the lockout in uh or well, the shortened season 12 13 at some point they were allowed they allowed compliance buyouts each team got one but um in my opinion they should have had it again this off season um i think it would have been good and because think about it, they're saying that the cap may be flat for another two years after this even despite the world being better so um it's 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 unfortunate that there are so many teams that are going to have their you know hands tied because they have players um, that they can't move, um, and a buyout really saves them nothing. So, um, yeah, I think it would only been a good move for the league. So I'm curious to see what you guys, what your thoughts are on it. John, actually, let's go with you first. Yeah, I, I was calling for this a while back, and uh, I'm with Anthony on it. It, it you should. It, I don't understand why they didn't do it. I really don't. It, it doesn't make any sense to me. It, it, you put a lot of teams in binds that weren't created by their own faults. Because it, it, think about it this way: if COVID never happened, we're we're looking at a normal, you know, normal cap situation. Cap still going up, like it was trending. None of these teams are looking at any of these contracts as as, as a problem. I mean, sure, maybe some teams still get themselves in cap trouble, like Toronto, Colorado, maybe a little bit because they were trying to, you know, go for the go for the gold and you know go for it all. But you're you're not looking at as many teams having as many problems, and not only that, but it screws the players more than anything because these players now it, it, it screws the free agents to be those players. It, it kind of reminds me of the situation with baseball about how they have that 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 pick that gets taken away from you if you go sign a free agent if they get qualified. I mean, it, something like this it, it needed the change to help everything out, and it, it just it didn't. I don't I don't get it. I, I really, if it was any other situation other than a pandemic, I can understand why they would say no. But the pandemic is something that's completely out of everyone's hands. And what, what exactly are you doing by punishing every team? Do, don't you want your teams to be able to make moves to get better? I, I, I don't understand it. You, you want a better product than the ice, but yet you're going to restrict teams from doing that? You're, you're going to... And you and you if, if, the, if the cap wasn't staying flat, which, you know, I understand why it is, but if the cap wasn't staying flat, then I understand it. But the cap staying flat... So now you're putting more teams at a disadvantage. You're putting more players on the free agent market at a disadvantage. I, I mean, I can't imagine the union would be happy about this. I know some of their players would probably get bought out, but these are players that probably would have gotten bought out anyway. 
So what what what's what exactly is the difference there? So I, I don't know. I don't like it. I, I think they should have thought this through a little more than they did because they came to the they came to the decision on this really early, which is kind of shocked me that there were going to be no compliance buyouts in this situation. So I'm not a fan. Um, I can understand it a little bit. They kind of want the the contracts to be honored right now. Um, uh, you're, getting paid, you're, getting out. you're getting paid still. It's not like these guys yeah. say contracts to be honored. Well, still- in, the, but in the case of, say, the Jacob Truba contract, if, they, if the Rangers would have bought him out, then they could bring in somebody less... Um, I'm trying to make some sense out of this right now. Uh, I actually kind of... I didn't even think about this until right now, and the, the truth is, because I haven't had to. That's what the great part about this is, is uh, the Rangers haven't had a, a guy they they didn't buy out in a heartbeat. Uh, the last time they were in this situation was 2014 when they bought out Brad Richards right away. Uh, and then it was Wade Redden before that. And um, I mean, they've had their buyouts and they've been all standard buyouts that go against the cap. I, You know what? I, I, you know, the more you, the more I'm thinking about this with you, yeah, you're right. Now, granted, it would have been more helpful in your situation because you would have gotten rid of Andrew Ladd, I'm assuming. Yeah, yeah you guys would have gotten rid of Angel Ladd or bought out Nick Letty, moved Andrew Ladd to LTIR. How he's not on LTIR for a guy that's played like almost five more games than I have in the NHL over the last <laughs> two years. Um, it's just that it doesn't make any sense to me. Yeah, so, um, yeah, I got to say that they kind of they kind of screwed themselves up on this one. So, yeah, good job with that. Um, Anthony, any last words? I mean, the last four, yeah, I mean, let's face it, fans like when there are big trades, and if teams had more cap space to be able to trade more freely without having to worry about retention and, you know, their next move, they acquired a guy, then they can't do this, it just, it would have allowed for a more freewheeling offseason, um, and that's good, that's good for the league, it's good for the fans, and it adds excitement and, you know, uh, intrigue to what's going on when there's a busy offseason, so it would have it would have helped in that regard for sure. Well, we want to know what you think about that. Uh, put it all down in the comments below. Hit the like button for us. Uh, you can just tap it. You don't have to smash it. It'll be it'll be nice <laughs> if you smash it, but don't hurt your phone or your iPad or um, or tablet. Uh, okay. If you like that video, we got a lot more. So check out any of these that are right over here. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Your ideas are intriguing to me, and I wish to subscribe to your newsletter.